Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome. My name is Christina Marie from Beauty on my BIDD Beauty Reviews. Tutorials, unboxings, spoilers, giveaways. Today we are talking a little product empty time. And it's usually when I get about 10 items in my bin that I've used up or some that just didn't work. Then I go through and I share them with you. Would I wait repurchase? Would I not? And today is the September version. I want to welcome anybody who's new here. Thank you so much for checking us out. Every month I do an eyeshadow palette giveaway for the month of September. It is the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. Looks like this, perfect fall shades. So this is mine, I do have a brand new one for you. Look in the description box down below under current giveaways. It'll take you to the video, it talks about how to enter this one. Giveaways are really easy, just be subscribed to the channel, watch the videos in their entirety. As far as what is on my eyes today, I felt like being a little extra glam for me. And this is the Natasha Denona Anya palette. Love, love this. You can do a daytime look, you can do a nighttime look, a little fancy, fancy look. So let's get into these. I like these to be really quick, down to business. If you haven't subscribed yet though, please do so. We're such a fun, easy going group here. There's no drama. If you can do me a favor, hit that bell button, mark it to all. And if you are watching this on a mobile device, go into your settings and mark those. Cause I want you to know when I upload and I definitely want you guys to know when I do giveaways, which are a lot here on the channel. I try and do a giveaway from each of my unboxings. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button and let's get into some of these products. We have full size, we have sample sizes, we have ones that I repurchased, we have ones that I would not. So I love the Clinique lipstick. One of my favorite shades is, shades is a different kind of grape. Um, I do have some left in here. It has though expired and started to separate. But I mean, look how, it's just this gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of mauve pink shade. Love, love, love it. Would definitely get another one of these. Let's just keep on the Clinique trend while we're at it. I just have two more. So I love the Clinique Chubby Sticks. A couple Christmases ago, one of their holiday editions, I got all of their like mini Chubby Sticks. It was a great way to try out different ones, see which ones you like, which colors you don't like. This one, it was Chunky Cherry. See if I can get any out. And get a little bit out of that. And that's this one here. I love their formula. It is so moisturizing on the lips. I've just used it up and that's why it needed to go. The last Clinique product that I have is their High Impact Waterproof Mascara. I love using this on the lower lash line. My lashes tend to like smudge and everything else on the lower lash line. This just really, really helps with that. And so I really like it. Used it up, would repurchase. So all of these Clinique products, I would repurchase again. Product that didn't really do anything for me and it has so much hype. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. This just globbed on to down here and it did nothing. It was just cakey and I can't even get any more out of it. It dried up so, so easily. There's nothing there. This, for me anyway, was a big, big miss. It was so cakey. It was gross. From Glow, I did have one of their pigment packer brushes and I really did like it. The problem is that this has come off. I've tried using wood glue. I've tried using super glue. Nothing really happens. So, and this keeps falling off. Nobody wants that when you're trying to do eye makeup. So it needed to go. The Sunday Riley Autocorrect Brightening Eye Cream. Love, love, love this. Would we'll definitely be getting a full size of this one. I have two products from ColourPop. The first is part of their Ultra Glossy Lip. Mine is in the shade Pony Up. And I like it. It's just, it was just 
too tacky of a formula for me. I really, really do like the shade. Like I said, it was just too. Felt like you were going all day long. Don't need that. The other color pop is one of their Super Shocks. This one is the shade Whittle. It's kind of this purple mauve shade. It's pretty. It's just old, very, very, very old. And it's starting to crumble. So I would get another one to kind of replace it. I mean, it is gorgeous, gorgeous. I mean, look at that. It's almost got like this duochrome, this bright purple. And it kind of moves to kind of a darker. Love it. Another one that I am getting rid of is my Tardis Pro Glow Tarte Palette. I've used this forever. Love using... Um, this one as a contour, this one as a um, this one as a bronzing, some cheek colors. These work a little dark for me for highlight colors, but they made a really pretty all over lid shade. Loved working with this. It's just very, very old, very expired, and needed to go. So if products aren't working for you, don't feel like you have to have them in your collection. It's just, if they're not working for you, they're not working for you, get rid of them. So those were the products that I had for the month of September. Are there any of those that you would want to repurchase? Let me know in the comments down below. I love chatting back and forth with you guys. You can also follow me over on Instagram. That handle is beauty, AMA, A -M -A, followed by the letter B. You can follow me on Twitter. It's that same beauty, AMA, B, followed by the number one. YouTube will now go ahead and insert a couple other videos for you if you have the time. I would greatly appreciate it if you were to check them out. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And I will see you soon. Bye.